what a massive letdown for the left, you guys. I don't know how else to put it. It just, uh, what a massive fucking letdown for the left. Not a single House progressive mustered up the courage to withhold their vote for Nancy Pelosi. Not a single one. Not one. Handful of moderates did. A couple of them voted for, for Hakeem Jeffries. They recognize that Pelosi is awful at her job, that she's an epic failure, right? They recognize she played political games with people's lives during a crisis, during a pandemic, lost those political games. Her majority shrunk in the House. The, the handful of, of moderates recognize that. We don't think she should be Speaker. What do the progressives do? They roll right over. They grovel to power. Here, have my vote for fucking nothing. Have my vote for nothing. They had two months, you guys. November 3rd, they knew that Democrats had lost numbers in the House, and they knew that they had added seats to the progressive, the truly, I don't mean the progressive caucus formally. I mean the actually progressive people. You guys know who I'm talking about. On November 3rd, the squad, you know, it used to be the squad, Jayapel, Ro Khanna, a couple others. They added on November 3rd, Mondaire Jones, Cori Bush. They added Jamal Bowman. They added Marie Newman. So they knew on November 3rd that they had the leverage to use Pelosi's speaker vote to either get, gain concessions from the party or to just oust her. Two months to organize. Two months. What'd they do? Twiddled their fucking thumbs. Nothing. I don't know how to express how disappointed and angry I am about this. It leads me to believe that we are much further from progress than even a pessimistic asshole like myself thought. It's it's incredibly disheartening. Incredibly disheartening. I have had, I've long had a kitchen sink approach for progressives. I think we need to work through whatever power alleys we, f- we can, you know? If people want to work for progress within the Democratic Party, I've always said go for it. If people want to organize third parties, I've always said go for it. I will vote for an independent. I'll vote for a green. I'll vote for a Democrat. All you got to do is prove to me that you're progressive. That's long been my stance. Throw the kitchen sink at the problem. I now honestly am starting to think that, that we, we need to avoid the Democratic Party. Like, at all costs. It seems like anything that touches the Democratic Party, it's like a poison pill. You know? You go in thinking you're going to change the party, and the party changes you. Ocasio-Cortez, in two years, has gone from... And, and look, I'm, I'm not trying to, like... I think she's well-intentioned. I, I think she genuinely wants to help people. But look, in two years, she has gone from demanding, organizing outside Pelosi's office, demanding a floor vote on Medicare for All, to giving us a procedural excuses as to why we can't get a Medicare for All vote. You think the Tea Party would have done that? You think the Tea Party would have tweeted condemning their own supporters, telling them to sit in their place and wait? No, the Tea Party would have tweeted at John Boehner, telling him to get his fucking act together. Instead... What, is, what does AOC do? What does the squad do? They grovel to Pelosi, mama bear, grovel to power, throw their vote at her for nothing, and tell us to shut the fuck up. Tell us people who are demanding health care, us people who are dying during a pandemic, to shut the fuck up. Tell us people who are going into debt to pay for their medical care, shut the fuck up. I'm completely incensed by this, you guys. It's... um. It, it makes me question the, like, I, I have, I've always tried to take a nuanced approach to these things, you guys. We can disagree with a lawmaker without saying they should be primaried or canceled, right? We can have a couple disagreements with someone and still think they're largely progressive and largely fighting the right fight. And that's how I've long felt about the squad. I disagree with them on power politics. I wish they wouldn't grovel to Pelosi like they do, but I've always thought, like, they're genuinely progressive, and as soon as we give them the numbers to utilize that leverage, they will. Well, they just proved me wrong. They just proved to me that as, even if we give them the numbers, they're still going to make up procedural excuses and grovel to power. It's egregious. It's egregious. So, I, you know, this is a topic, you guys, that I could sit here and complain about for hours. I'm, you know... You all know, I don't need to explain to you why Pelosi is bad for the country or for progressive causes. 
Her first job is to squash the left, capitulate to Republicans. The squad will tell you they're fighting for Medicare for all while they put her in power. <sighs> Guys, I don't want to question these progressives. I, I want to sit up here and have people in Congress to support. I want to sit up here and actually feel like we're close to achieving the policy that I want to achieve. I don't want to sit here and condemn the only people who have, have even close to the same ideology as me. But when they behave like this, what am I supposed to do? Congratulate them for rolling over and selling us out to the fucking party again? Oh, it's just so fucking sad, you guys. I don't know what else to say. It's just really fucking sad.